Hi, Rick Pierzolo. I'm the director here. Welcome. Most of you know that this room is terrible on a microphone. So instead, I just opt to scream. <laughs> I ask our artists to yell in a polite manner. I have a pretty good voice. Right. Welcome. We're thrilled to have you. We're thrilled at the number of people here. We thank that guy for the fact that you're all here. We're thrilled to have him. Before I introduce the artist, let me do my usual and give you my laundry list of things you need to know as guests of the museum. Firstly, those of you who are not members, I think you know that you have an anonymous member to thank for that person's paying your admission fees to tonight's party. So, if you'd like to become a member, I'm sure that Chelsea would be very happy to help you out of the front desk. Because of the number of people here, and I know you'd rather visit with Denny and visit with each other, I will quickly run through the dates that you should know. Our holiday art market features seven artists who've made unique items. I know at least one, two of them are here. <coughs> Bonnie Akula is here somewhere. There she is. And Bridget Bassett Banaterloo is here somewhere. There. Their, both of their works are amazing, and they're all for sale. You know, many of you come to the museum and say, how come you never sell anything? Well, we do in November and December. And you can buy their works right up at the front uh, in the reading room. <coughs> the Palette Awards, the Elmira Regional Art Society, is a group of artists working in our region who've been members of our family for as, almost 80 years, and their annual exhibition begins on the 29th of November, and we will present, I think, Laura, tell me, our 79th Palette Awards? 78th Annual Palette Awards. And 82nd. Why do I ask? We're going to say the 82nd. Come and we'll be sure. We'll let you know for sure on, on uh, 29th of November. Scholastic Art Awards, one of our favorite exhibitions every year. Works made by middle, high, middle and high school students. We will show, we'll probably have a thousand entries. And, and probably 200 of them will be chosen to be on exhibition in the same space where we show famous artists. So please come. The event is 27th of January at the Clemens Center, and we'll present awards and have a party right here in this space. Finally, our 76th, and I'm sure of that date, 76th regional exhibition. That is a juried exhibition one of the longest running jury exhibitions in the country, and we present $10,000 in awards at that event. <coughs> Excuse me, and our submission deadline, if you're an artist, is the 6th of February, and on 15th of March, we will present those awards. Again, another fun party here at the museum. Finally, last thing I want you to know is American Art Collector Magazine, one of the major art magazines in the country, pages 67 through 72 of this month's uh, edition, are about the Armand Art Museum. Oh. 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 You might recognize this painting, uh, Bottle Man. Yes. Oh. And also, I don't even have to show you the next page because it's blue hair and braces. You all know that painting. You all should buy the magazine and read about us. Thanks to our dear friend, John O'Hearn. Many of you might know John. John wrote most of the story. And it's about the Iron Art Museum. So please do get this magazine and read and look. Lots going on here. But tonight, the big thing that's going on here is the guy in the fancy shoes. <laughs> I love your shoes. We have wanted to show this member of our family for, well, the entire 11 years I've been here. We've talked to Debbie about showing, and we finally talked him into it in 2018. I think you can see by the work on the walls around you and by the number of people who came 
to celebrate him and to celebrate the work, how important it was for us to show him during this, our home season. We called it our home season because we celebrated artists who are members of our family and who are working in our region. Denny was one of the inspirations for that theme of the season. So, like I said, Laura and I, even when Wendy was here, and so many people have twisted his arm, and we finally talked him into it about two years ago, and finally today, it comes to fruition. The exhibition will be on view until, and I look at Laura, <laughs> February 21st. February 21st, so you do have time to come back when there aren't a whole lot of people blocking all the work. <laughs> Mr. Director, does that mean the show will be up for Hearts of Desire? The show will, oh, a former president of the trustees <laughs> to tell you that yes, the show will be on view during Hearts of Desire, which is our annual fundraiser. And tickets go on sale in two weeks. And that date is February 15th, 15th, February 15th. Again, I say this every time I get you all together. You did not come here to hear from me. You came here to hear from our dear friend, family member, and spectacular artist, Denny Smith. Shop became available, and uh, 
Um, like a crazy fool, I uh, jumped at the opportunity. Um, and, then I, and, and then after the art shop closed, I went to work for Nagley Moving and Storage, transporting uh, artwork all over the, frankly, all over the world. Um, and I'm glad to see some of the guys from Nagley are here tonight. I appreciate your support, guys. Um, I, uh, so these, what, you, what you're looking at, are a few of my fantasies, flights of fantasy, um, uh, over the course of the last dozen years or so. Um, uh, they don't really mean anything. So if you are looking to me to explain them to me, <laughs> that's not how it works for me in the studio. I do not usually illustrate a preconceived notion. Sometimes, like the ones behind Chris over there, uh, that one, uh, and I, I won't talk to each of these paintings, but that one, for instance, is titled Crisis Management. And that was when my family dynamics uh, three years ago were completely exploding. And everything's better. So, um, so, so this is my most recent painting uh, uh, called Red Dots. Um, uh, in the, in the uh, small gallery and in the hall are some older and experimental things. So, Rick has been very kind in, in, uh, in his introduction uh, of me, and I really, I, I really appreciate that, Rick. I, I want to say a special thank you to, to Rick Perizzolo and his primary henchman, um, uh, Laura Wetmore, over there in the corner. Um, and then uh, the, the rest of the staff here, um, uh, Greg, who really does the muscle uh, and the installation, uh, Linda, who takes care of the uh, auditing and uh, keeping everybody on a straight line, and, and Chelsea out of the front desk, um, and there are others. Um, I also want to say uh, a special thank you uh, to friends and family. Um, my grandmother, gave me my first box of oil paints when I was about 12 years old. Um, uh, we went to a, a Pennsylvania auction. She loved to buy crap at Pennsylvania auctions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she died, the same auctioneer came to Elmira and took it all back. <laughs> anyway, uh, she bought me a, a box of old used oil paints and that, was, that began my family. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and then after my grandparents, uh, certainly my parents uh, were, were, were supporters of me, uh, made sure that I got a good education in the arts, uh, took me to the right kinds of things here, here in Elmira, like the Art Museum, to visit Boy Fox. Um, and, um, and so I'm, I'm grateful to them. I'm, I'm extremely grateful to my aunt, Nelson Van Den Boy, who, who has been my champion since I was born, and, uh, and I'm sorry she's not here, she would have enjoyed this. Um, she was kind enough to uh, give us space at the Hilliard Corporation uh, years ago that, uh, uh, that first Joanne, my former wife, used in, and for the last 12 or 15 years, I have used this space. It's a great little north light, uh, skylight, not too big, not even as big as this room, but just right. Um, a place where I can, I can make smelly things and, 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 move, and move paint around. Um, Jan and his family have, uh, have always, Jan Van and Mike and his family, have always been uh, supporters of mine, uh, patrons, and, uh, and have um, uh, allowed me to continue uh, on time that that space gets larger all the time I move around. <laughs> um, and, uh, and the Hilliard Corporation, I have to, I have to make a uh, proper shout out to the Hilliard Corporation for their support of me over the years. Um, I, um, I have other collectors, uh, some of who are in this room who prefer to remain anonymous, uh, who have almost as many paintings as I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got the largest collection of my paintings. And by the way, anything in here that says collection of the artist, the museum gets a, a healthy cut, so <laughs> they're for sale too. Uh, uh, through February 23rd. Um, I, have a, I have a special support group that I really rely on. Uh, 
and, uh, and we meet once a week, fairly religiously, although we don't really talk about religion too much. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and those folks uh, uh, in this room know who they are and how much I sincerely <laughs> appreciate their, their counsel and friendship. Um, I, I am sorry that my friend Dean Aldrich uh, died a couple of years ago, wasn't able, he would have loved this, and he would have made your lives a living hell. <laughs> <laughs> he would have curated it himself, and it would be full up. <laughs> um, so, my family and friends, I really appreciate all of your uh, support, and I and I want to I want to close by saying that that I came to Dan Reed's talk uh, in this room uh, a month or two ago, and Dan said a couple of things that I really it really stuck with me. Well, three things, but um, uh, one of his remarks uh, was that many of the paintings that we make as artists don't survive, and they don't, and they and they're never seen. They're never seen by us again. This, in fact, that red and uh, dark red painting over there has got a fully finished painting underneath it that I never like. <laughs> and when Dan said that, I, I, it, it just brought me back to some some realities. The other thing he said that I really liked a lot was that. You can only, as an artist, take it so far in the studio for yourself, and then it comes out here, and it means something entirely different to each of you. Now, Dan's may, may have been a little bit more directed in his use of some relatively realistic forms, uh, but still, you see things in an artist's work uh, that he doesn't see. And, and, and I, 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 I'm sorry, I missed him. Gary, a uh, buddy of mine over at Hilliard, um, when he comes to uh, see artwork and to visit my studio, he dives right in and he can see angels and horses. <laughs> and <giants. laughs> so, please, if you'd like to know more about what I do, uh, come to one of my gallery talks. It is, sh I can't tell you how happy and excited I am that you are all here tonight. It is so meaningful to me. Thank you. We're glad to be here. Thank you for being here.